Could you have diabetes? Diabetes mellitus is a chronic disease that requires long-term medical attention to limit the development of its devastating complications and to manage them when they do occur. Nearly one in four adults living with diabetes don't know that they had the condition. The term diabetes mellitus describes several diseases of abnormal carbohydrate metabolism that are characterized by increased blood glucose associated with insulin resistance or that your insulin is not working the way it should, not enough insulin produced by body. This happens in autoimmune disease as well as in chronic pancreatitis or increased body production of glucose. Increased blood sugar may also be from increased dietary intake of foods such as white bread, pasta, rice, chocolates, ice creams, french fries, and pizza. Are you worried about diabetes? Have you heard of a friend or a relative who died from diabetes mellitus and its complications? Diabetes is associated with multiple complications including heart disease, strokes, kidney problems that some people end up in dialysis, eye problems, neuropathy, wounds that won't heal, amputations, and even erectile dysfunction. Now it's time to study more about diabetes mellitus. Do you feel tired more than usual? Do you notice that you are peeing a lot? Do you feel thirsty all the time? Did you lose weight unintentionally? Do you have recurrent infections, UTI, or wounds that won't heal? If you said yes to any of these questions or you're just still worried, now might be the time to go and see your doctor. And if you don't have one, you can ask family or friends for recommendations. You can also search for a doctor online. Your doctor might do diabetes screening, check you for untreated infections, check hormone levels including your thyroid if you're having fatigue, and do age-appropriate cancer screening. What are the risk factors for diabetes mellitus? Diabetes risk increases when you're more than 45 years old. Diabetes is also more common among Asians, African Americans, Hispanics, and Pacific Islanders. Your risk of diabetes also increases if you have sedentary lifestyle, if you have a first-degree relative with diabetes, if you have high blood pressure, high cholesterol, heart disease, or a history of gestational diabetes, your risk of diabetes increases. Other risk factors for diabetes include smoking, having polycystic ovarian disease, and having impaired fasting glucose, also called prediabetes. The American Diabetes Association has the following diagnostic criteria for diabetes mellitus. First is glycated hemoglobin A1c of more than or equal to 6.5%. Second, Fasting plasma glucose of more than or equal to 126 mg per deciliter. Third is with random elevated blood glucose of more than 200 mg per deciliter, with symptoms of thirst, increased urinary frequency, weight loss, and blurry vision. The fourth criteria is abnormal oral glucose tolerance test, which is usually used for pregnant women. To help stop you from worrying, please go see your doctor. And if you don't have one, find one as soon as possible. If you like this video, please click the like button and click subscribe down below. Thank you for watching and be healthier.